Hey, just chuck at that rhythm man guitars. I've got a special thing for you today, something that you don't get the opportunity to do very often. I have two Strombergs in the house right now. One is part of our permanent in-house collection, and this is this Master 400 from uh, 1948. This, I believe, is uh, 1953 Stromberg Deluxe. This would have been one of the very last of the guitars that the Strombergs made. This is a kind of a rare version of it because they didn't make very many cutaways at all, whether it be Master 400 or Deluxe. And um, it's a great opportunity to compare them some. Um, they're obviously different builds. This one has a lower bow width of 17 and 3 8 inches, whereas this one over here, the Master 400, is 19 and 1 8. And, um, you know, they're overall a little different. This has a little slimmer neck, which I find a little bit harder to play, but that's just because I'm not used to playing on a slimmer neck. It works pretty well otherwise. Um, this one, of course, the Master 400 has the bigger soundboard to move. Um, a little more air, I think, and to give you a little more bass response. But they both have the single single brace underneath and I cannot remember off the top of my head whether it goes more this way or this way but they both have the single brace and um, both cool guitars you can see the back of the deluxe a little plainer has a pretty pronounced arch with a significant amount of recurve Solid block inlays, headstock, which is an overlay that appears to be made of some sort of a, a nitro cellulose derivative. Maybe just celluloid, I'm not sure. It has a lot of shrinkage and cracking in it, but it's all seeming to hold down there tightly. Otherwise, the guitar's in phenomenal condition. And, and the Master 400. This Master 400 has a reproduction tailpiece little heavier flame and is made with a little less arch and recurve than that deluxe. That stock overlay is made with wood and mother of pearl rather than the nitrocellulose type lacquer and then a long time ago somebody put patent pending Grovers on it so I suppose that was probably done around 1960 sometime. But anyway I'll quit talking and I'll let the guitars speak for themselves and you can give them a listen. If there are things that stand out to you about one of them, let me know.
So there you have it. I'd be really interested in knowing what people pick out about each of these guitars and what they think about them. So if you would make some comments, I'd really like to hear that. Um, I have my own opinions about the way they behave and sound, but of course I'm sitting here playing them, so it's going to be different than what you may pick up in the video. But anyway, um, these two will not be available in the store, but we have lots of other cool arch tops if you're into arch tops, and um, come check us out at thatrhythmman.com. Hope to see you there. Thanks. Mm -hmm.